So I would go to my classes. Yep. Yeah. And then you hit plus add class. And then you give it a unique name. And pick your subject. And your grade. And save. You don't have to. So we got the data. Um, I would have broken up before, but we're going to be running short on time. So I will show you all how to find a video and edit it. If you'd all, you should all be. And on my search page, I can instantly look at all these these popular videos. And as long as you are selected Edpuzzle, these have little icons on them. So this little Chris Graham video had a green question mark. That means there's questions in this video already. I can take this guy's video. I can reword the questions. I can delete the questions. I can add mine on top of his. Uh, I can just pretty much use what he has. This one done by uh, Santi has that little yellow speaker note. That's a teacher note. So if I were to click on it and play it, um, somewhere in the video, there would be a little narration that the teacher said. Or they kind of recorded their voice over it. It would be kind of like a little pop-up. The red scissors mean that the video was cropped. They probably took some off the beginning and end. If you don't like the middle of the video, then you can only take off something from the beginning or the end. You have to kind of deal with it if it has a bad middle. Or just make two separate videos and splice them together. But that's the only way you can take some beginning and end. Um, and if you see a blue speaker, that is the teacher's voice recording over the entire video going through. So there's no original. So something like that may come up where you find this awesome YouTube video, but the guy has some inappropriate language at some points, but the visual stuff is perfect. So you can record your voice over the whole thing if you wanted to. Some other things that you can think about in the high school, they're, they're really big into notes with PowerPoint. You could turn your PowerPoint presentation into a video, upload the video to here, insert your questions into it, get that data back from your kids to gauge their level of understanding. And you can check it. But uh, here's how you would find a video. So if you can all just find any old video on that screen, and we're just going to edit it. I'll take you through the process of quickly editing it. Yeah, yep. We're just going to go through one until we made it. So um, you can search for a topic up here, and I think a lot of you already started that. And you can also search for a teacher. So if you know a teacher is already using this, you can search for them by name. And I know Kelly's big into it, so I'm just going to search for Kelly's name. And these are going to pull up all Kelly's videos. While it's loading, if you notice, on the left-hand side, it's pulling videos from all these other sites too, but they don't have questions in them. It just says, we're pulling from YouTube, we're pulling from Khan Academy, but it's not pulling from Discovery Ed directly. If you want to get a video from Discovery Ed that you know is grade level subject matter appropriate, download that to your computer, upload it right into this site, and you can use it. All right, so here's some videos by Kelly. Uh, this animal intelligence, I think I'll go with that. So just find a video, and then you want to hit the blue Use It button. Or if you played the video, you hit Use This Video there. If I hit Save to My Content, that would save it to a folder, something that I plan to teach in maybe the next week or month. Or maybe I'm trying to help out another teacher we're planning with. Maybe Kelly and uh, Richie were collaborating on something. She wants to share this to them. She can send a need to email. So I'm going to go to Use This Video. And now I'm on this screen. So I'll give you all a second if you can get to this screen where I just hit use this video. So if you want to get a, I want to see what Ebony's video is about. I'll save it. It goes to my content. And you can make a folder and stuff. But if I want to play it, and she has all these questions, if you want to preview the questions, I just click on the little square. And that, so this is a comment. This is an open-ended question. That's why it's a little box to type. Open-ended, 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 open-ended. So she has quite, oh, and there's some multiple choice at the end. So she has a nice mixture of both. If I want to use Ebony's video, but maybe I don't like the questions, I'm going to edit this video. 
and here's my edit screen. So I'll give you